Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel where we dive into the world of design with Figma. In today's tutorial, I'll be showing you how to easily switch between dark mode and light mode in your designs using Figma variables. Plus, we will learn how to design both modes simultaneously to save you time and effort. Switching between dark and light mode is an essential feature for modern interfaces and with Figma variables, it's simpler than ever to set up. Here is a quick demo of what we will be creating. We will start by setting up our design system for both dark mode and light mode. Then we will show you how to use Figma new variables features to toggle between the two modes effortlessly. Figma variables will allow you to define different colors, text styles, and even layouts, and applying them across both teams instantly. So grab your Figma files, let's get started. By the end of this tutorial, you'll be able to design in both dark and light mode simultaneously, making your workflow faster and more efficient. And as always, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more design tutorials. Let's dive in. So to get started, the first thing we need to do is just go and create our color variables. So to do that, I'm just going to click on this local variables, then create variable and color. So I'm just going to call this white and uh, color another black. So this I would change to black. This will be our black. So we need different shades of gray. So I'm just going to say gray 100, start from 100, and we'll pick this to be the gray 100. Create color and uh, it's going to say gray 200. So pick this, pick this to be the gray 200. Then the next one we're going to do is gray 300. So pick this guy to, I'm just going to make the gray 300 to look this way. Now, once we are done, you just close this, select this and tie all those stuffs on the color variables that we just created. So all these colors, we're going to tie to the color variables. Now, the last thing we're going to do before tying them is just to select this gradient. Look at this gradient, open it up. This is what it looks like. If you want to add it, you just click on this plot sign and we're going to call this blue gradient. Then create style. So you see it here. Now, the if you want to create something that looks like that, you just do this. Then go to linear. You have to tweak this up. Select this. And uh, we're going to head to blue. If you want to pick from here, you just pick, use the color picker to pick. Then come here, select the color picker and pick this. So this was how this gradient was achieved. I'm going to delete that. So the next thing we're going to do is to come here and uh, select this blue. It's already tied to this blue. So now select everything. We're going to tie this white to white then this white also to white and this is our black i think uh, this is our black we're going to tie it to black then this is our gray 300 we're going to tie it to gray 300 that's it then this is our uh gray 100 yep then this this is going to be our gray 200 so that's it. All the color variables has all the colors here have been tied to the color variables we created. So the next thing we are going to do now is to go over to the local variables. Then we add, click on this plus. So now we have mode two and mode one. So we're going to name this light mode. I'm just going to spell this right, and uh, this one will be dark. Now, for the dark mode, everything that is white here, I'm just going to open this up so it will be very visible. So this will change to black. Then this will change to white. This will be our white on dark mode. So this will change to something that looks like this for that. Then this one will also get something similar then this will now have to look this way and uh, once you're done you have actually created two modes which is going to be dark mode and the light mode so now what i'm going to do is to click here and go to collection so here you see your light mode you tie it to light mode then come here and this is your dark mode now contact is changing to black so we need to create another color uh, variable so come here and uh, create something create a color and just call this universal white. 
so you need to constantly do some of these changes to make sure that you're on the right track i'm going to tie this this should be universal white so both on the dark mode and the light mode it remains white so if i go over to my local variables and i'm going to rename this collection to colors i'll just call it a mode So when you select this and you see mode here, you can change between light mode and dark mode. If you come here and change this, look at this and uh, select mode and you change it to white. So anything that is here would definitely be turned to white. But before you do that, you must set this to automatic. So once this is automatic, you can actually change the mode on all the designs you have in your workstation. Make sure to hit the subscribe button to keep me motivated to share some content like this and i'm going to see you on my next video bye for now